Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. Just wanted to bring you guys a little coin market cap update. Look at some of the top coins that people really like, enjoy, that type of stuff. Kind of look at the overall market cap. So if you guys could like, subscribe, all that, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. So guys, what we're at here is at $253 billion in our market cap, almost 254. And you guys remember we just did a video recently and we were up to about 277. So we've had quite the drop here back down again. And our Bitcoin dominance is also at 43.4%. We typically don't want to see that above 40 because what that means is essentially people are taking less risk and they're going to put in something that's a little less volatile than some of the altcoins. So let's take a quick look at the market cap. It's really important just to pay attention to this overall, guys. And what we want to see here is for this level to hold because it's almost that double bottom, guys, in the overall market cap. So we had that nice bull run there. Then we came back down here and we hit around, see the low, 249, somewhere right in there. Then here, 234, pretty close, and we got a little pop. So if we could almost have that double bottom, that would be a good sign for us, guys. What you've seen here down at the bottom is the volume has been decreasing, okay? And that's what you typically have in that bear market. In a bull market, you're going to have the volume that's coming up, raising up, and then in the bear market, you're going to have it dropping back down, leveling off. So we need to see that volume pick back up and at least come up and make another attempt here around this top at about $452 billion. And we were there, guys, May 6th. I mean, we were back there again, and you can see that little rise of volume that came in. Then we had that other sell-off. So those are the things that we're looking for, just that continued volume coming back in. And then here's the Bitcoin dominance. And, guys, in January 2017, once things really started to sell off, take a look at that 85% Bitcoin dominance. Then we went all the way down to 39. So guys, remember that more risk is taken when prices are, are going up. So people are going to get in those basically altcoins, things like that. Then we rose back up here, went to 60, back down. So we've kind of been all over the place. But just keep an eye on that. That will show kind of the risk tolerance in the market. Next thing I want to look at is the actual cryptocurrencies. Okay. All right, guys, one second. Sorry about that. Computer's acting up a little bit. And I hope you guys are having just a wonderful day. Comment down in the bottom if you... Uh, have been buying during this, selling, hodling, all that type of stuff. Sorry about that, guys. So, Bitcoin, we're at 64.25. You can see we're just hardly up here, but it's good not to see it in the red at least. So, we're just kind of that, that sideways movement. Ethereum, 441. XRP's back under 50 cents. Bitcoin Cash, 700. Litecoin is at 79.04, and I believe that's due to the news that we had recently in Litecoin if you guys haven't been following that and guys typically if we were in a bull market the news that just came out on Litecoin I believe they are signing a merging with the bank I haven't got to go through all that yet I'm gonna look at that a little bit later today but it was a partnership that took place and whenever we're in a bear market you're just not gonna see the type of percentages in terms of news that you would in a bull market if this type of news for Litecoin came out in a bull market, you would probably be looking at anywhere from 10 to 15% gains just today alone. And you can see we're only up 3%, which is basically almost leading the market here. Stellar Lumens, 19 cents. Cardano, 13 cents. I mean, these things have really taken a hit, guys. 3 cents on Tron. One I have my eye on here is NEO. I want to see how low that can get. And what I like about NEO, guys, it's that protocol. So businesses and things are going to be built on it kind of like that ethereum and there's not a ton of them there's only going to be a hundred million neo which is good i like the smaller cap the lower cap in terms of the total supply so eventually guys you know what if the market cap can get up to five ten billion in this coin that those are some really good gains that could happen and at one point with neo when we had that double top here we got all the way up to close to 
you know, like $200 on some exchanges, I saw it. So from $200 down to 33 might be one you want to look at. Monero is undervalued, 124 um, Ethereum Classics, another one, guys, if you get into that, just continue to wait for that pullback that we've been seeing, which around $16, we kind of have had that. People have been shorting it. But with Ethereum Classic, once it is listed on Coinbase, so we we had the pump of the news that it would be listed, but once it's listed on Coinbase, there's going to be a pump. So a lot of people want to buy that now. Once the pump happens, then sell off. So remember, kind of buy the rumor, sell the news, that type of thing. Binance Coin down to twelve sixty two. Tezos has been one I've had my eye on, guys. Been thinking about potentially, you know, dollar cost averaging in just over time. More I dig into this, it it is a very good protocol. I understand that basically the owners and there's been some infighting things like that. But it's a very good protocol overall, and the things that you're looking at and and looking for in a company it has, and it was also one of the highest grossing. ICO. So it's just one to keep your eye on. I love Omise Go, but that's been getting hit hard. 685. Zcash, Quantum. Think of Quantum, guys, how high that price was at one point. And it does have a lower total supply as well. But we're up over $100 and we're down to 788. I mean, these are massive drop offs, guys. And eventually we will get back up to those points. We just don't know, you know, when it's going to happen. Ontology, 354. And how many total supplies with Ontology? So Ontology, there's a, a potential billion. The circulating supply isn't that many right now, 151 million. Um, one we all like a little bit here, Digibyte. Let's take a look at that. So that's almost at $0.04 cents now. Overall max supply 21 billion, so that is high, guys. But there's a lot of potential with this coin, and you know, you think about it, if you can get it at three cents or whatnot, and it ends up going to 50 cents one day. You you made some really good profits, and it has been up as high as I think it was 15 cents, something like that, 12, 15 cents. So it has had a very deep retracement as well. So a lot of people have their eye on that. You know, guys, and just I could continue to go down here. Populous 625, that could be a good pickup. So what I want you guys to do is put down low if you have any coins that you've been looking at that are really good prospects potentially, and I would like to be able to look at them with you. So that's what I want you to do. You see we had this big drop off here. Now we're kind of leveling out, moving sideways. So is this going to be a bear flag, you know, kind of that little move sideways, then a drop, or are we actually going to make a little progress here? That's what we're going to keep our eye on, but we need that continued volume. We need volume coming in. We're at $12 billion right here. In 24 hour volume need to get it up higher let's check that that's a good one to check okay I think that's just showing the the overall guys at the highest we were over 800 billion dollars in this market cap and it'll be back there guys it's gonna be over a trillion here at some point you know it's gonna happen and, and I truly believe this market could be, you know, five, ten trillion in a few years from now. And if you're getting in around two hundred and fifty three billion, you're definitely really early. So this bear market is providing lots and lots of opportunities for people who, you know, didn't necessarily get in the earliest. Because now you're seeing these prices, you know, the same as before we had the run up, if not lower. I mean, this is one I really like too. I've done some research into it fun fair and that was at one point up almost 20 cents and it's at two so you know guys just tell me what you're doing god bless each and every one of you i appreciate you being here with me like subscribe all that just continue to do some market updates with you it's something fun i think it's cool to look at some coins kind of talk about what's going on so please leave your comments down below i'll get back to you as soon as i can been crazy busy with everything studying and, and the baby coming all that type of stuff so it's been a lot guys but god bless you all and take care